Hey guys, let's talk about the shift. Hey guys, back at the desk, or still at the desk. I just recorded the uh, review for the Ballad of Songbird and Snakes, so I didn't leave. All right, so The Shift was a movie that I've been hearing about since I think late 2021 uh, is when I started hearing advertisements for it. So uh, the studio that made The Chosen, um, they basically, um, what they do is they take a torch, which is a proof of concept film with scenes that um, you know, are from different points in a possible feature film that are compiled together and put into this torch. So that way it can be pitched to investors who want to see more of this product, who want to see a finished product and see um, the full potential of what this proof of concept shows them. That's uh, basically what Angel Studios does. And that's what they were doing with The Shift. It is their first original feature completely funded through their crowdfunding network of angel investors, which is thousands of people um, just taking it upon themselves to bring us quality entertainment because this whole time Hollywood has been controlling all the money, controlling what's been made. Angel Studios, what they're doing, they are giving that power to the people who want to see something good. And it's such an amazing system they have set up. But the real question is, are the projects that are being pitched to Angel Studios actually something that can rival Hollywood? And so the shift, um, I was so hyped about this movie. Um, I it, it was a lot of um, you know anticipation on my end about going to see it. I even uh, wanted to get an interview with Brock Heasley, the guy who directed it. I guess details just didn't pan out and you know that, that that ended up not working which in the in the future i might do interviews on this channel i don't know i've thought about doing it but uh we'll see uh what happens i guess so the shift is basically a modern retelling of the story of joe and before i go any further i'm just gonna say as usual that there are gonna be spoilers up ahead so watch out if you haven't seen the shift yet i wouldn't watch this video it's going to be out on angel studios soon and hopefully out on dvd it's on angel studios right now for um members um so i guess if you want to get a membership with angel studios a guild membership and watch it that way you could um but it should be out for free on angel studios sometime in the near future because that's what they do they get this pay it forward method where all their investors make it possible for you to see things for free on their website in this retelling of the story of job the main character in this story his name is kevin garner and what he's going through he just got fired from his job i guess it was selling hedge funds i think that's what it was he meets molly his wife at a bar and she basically gets him to stop drinking what i've been able to gather is that he had a problem with uh drinking and in meeting his wife he also um found faith and um he started a family with her and uh, as time goes on, you find out that uh, they lost their son. And from that point, things started to get worse in their relationship. So as the relationship goes downhill, we come to the point where Molly has asked Kevin at one point to pay the bills. And he doesn't remember her asking him to pay the bills. He ends up in a car accident and meets uh, a guy named The Benefactor who pulls him out of it. The Benefactor, what he does is he pulls him to another Earth. Yes, it's a multiverse movie. And he tries to get Kevin to work for him. He explains what he does. He shifts people to other dimensions to cause chaos, other universes to cause chaos. And so he explains that he shifted Kevin's wife to another universe and shifted in one from another universe that thinks she asked him to pay the bills. They're both right, but none of them ever did because they're from different universes. It, so the devil, um, it, basically what the benefactor is, played by Neil McDonough, great actor, honestly. I, I want to work with Neil someday. He causes chaos by shifting people to other dimensions. It was such a cool concept too. And basically in every universe almost every kevin ends up working for the benefactor so as the benefactor tries to tempt kevin to work for him he says no and in that moment of of pure need he just starts praying he turns to god and 
it works. It sends the benefactor away. But now he's trapped in a, a, a world for five years where you know the benefactor is in control. I, I won't go further into that. It was a very interesting concept story. I believe there was a lot of potential in um, you know pacing and making the story as good as it could be. I'm not saying it wasn't great. It, w it was really great. I love the production value and the concept. But um, you know, after further speculation, there was a lot of confusion in the story and trying to figure out what was going on half the time. Which, you know, at the end, I understood the, the, the basic uh, the basic flow of the story, but there was just ups and downs where you, 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 it was hard to follow along and, you know, hard to follow along with uh, basically the rules that were set in place for certain things that are happening in the movie. I don't know, it's hard to explain. What I like most about the movie, Neil McDonough, honestly. His acting as the benefactor was Spot on, amazing. He does bring his A game, honestly. Sean Astin, I like him. Obviously, I, 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 I'm a Lord of the Rings fan. I, I think Sean um, was really, 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 really good choice for this movie. Rose Reed was in it. Uh, Elizabeth Tabish was in it. She plays in the Chosen. Paris Patel was in it. Jordan Walker Ross. Um, yeah, three chosen actors were in this movie. Go figure. It's Angel Studios. The acting was very well done, honestly. Um, the story could have been better in some parts, but the acting was very, very good. Production value was amazing too. Um, the production value was like one of the, the best things about this film. It looked professional, and that's what we want going forward with um, the entertainment like this. The movies that we're going to make, the shows that we're they're going to we're going to make, and that we are making now. We want them to look as professional as possible. Because as of recently, Hollywood has been laughing at the faith-based world. So all in all, I believe the shift is a step in the right direction. There are films I want to make with similar concepts, maybe not multiverse traveling, which I loved seeing that in this film, but it is a concept that has been done just so many times. But the action side of this, I'm like, yeah, that's the direction I'm going. I want to make action films. So I think this film is a very good step in the right direction. And I, I love the team that put this together. I think it, it was a very good team. I actually worked with, um, I think, a few people on the team. I know at least one person, Mitch Hudson. He was the second second on the movie. I worked with him on another project called Luso, which you guys should go check that out. It's a pilot right now, but it should be becoming a series this year. And I actually worked on that last year in January, believe it or not, as BTS. And Mitch, he, he's such a cool guy. It was cool to see him work with... Uh, the director and the executive producer on uh, Luso. So yeah, that's all my thoughts on that. All right, God bless. Thank you for watching.